what's going on everyone hope you had a good weekend um don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you are not subscribed turn on notifications also leave this video a thumbs up and follow me on twitter at super hive dc so um i was literally um about to like i had just finished editing a video i was about to upload it and then of course i still had twitter open on my computer right here where i was making the video and something that <coughs> excuse me oh my god something that i was talking about which is like um a big deal right now <laughs> of course popped up on twitter that like would have been my previous video would have not made sense anymore after seeing this so <laughs> Um, which I'm good. I'm relieved that I saw this because I was nervous. And that is about the fact that um, people have started notice have noticed recently in the past couple days that um, the Snyder Cut teaser trailer was like removed off of HBO Max YouTube channel and kind of like off of social media as well platforms. And people are like, oh my God, what's going on? You know, freaking out, panicking, especially because we just found out Toby Emmerich is now taking over at HBO Max as well. And so I think people are like, oh my God, we cannot handle something else happening with this, <laughs> you know? So in the video I was going to upload, I was saying that I don't think it's a reason to panic. Yes, it's like a little bit nerve wracking because you don't know why that would happen, right? Um, our automatic thoughts are gonna be negative because of what's happened in the past. But I was just saying, I, you know, people have, kind of tweeted like their speculations maybe they are doing something with like the the branding logos maybe they are um you know improving it somehow i don't know you know like it's not a reason to panic like it's being canceled or something um i think there's already been too much vested in this project and i don't think toby Emmerich can just go over there and like shut everything down i think it's I don't think he has that much authority, um, especially something that's already been like, you know, they've already signed a contract for it. They've already put the money into it. They've already done additional photography. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was saying in the video I was about to upload. Now, um, I see on Twitter that the official account for HBO Max help has replied to someone's tweet. Um, the tweet said, no, what is happening? Somebody tell me what's going on. They deleted the trailer now from HBO Max YouTube channel as well. What is happening? Um, and then, of course, they mentioned HBO Max Help, AT&T, Warner Media. And HBO Max Help replied and said, thanks for your interest. The Snyder Cut of Justice League will still be available in 2021. At this time, no additional details are available. So, um, that doesn't, of course that provides relief. <laughs> it does not explain why the trailers were removed. Maybe there's going to be, um, I suspect that there's gonna be a trailer announcement soon for a full length trailer. I think we're gonna get one at the end of the year. Um, also, they had just recently shared that little thing on the HBO Max TikTok and, um, what was the other thing? I mean, we've seen like, you know, Zach was sharing his picture from additional photography, the set from filming. And I mean, I think it's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Um, maybe there's, you know, some kind of, I don't know, something obviously happened where they had to maybe remove it and it's probably gonna be back up on the channel pretty soon. I don't think they're just gonna take it off and not put it back up. Um, also the, what I had mentioned in the video I was going to upload, the DC fandom, uh, panel for Zack Snyder's Justice League was is still on their channel as well as one of the little mini teasers that they had released in the few days leading up to the DC fandom so I think everything's okay I think maybe we can breathe a little bit <laughs> let's see Grace Randolph tweeted right now oh no she's talking that's about the Johnny Depp okay um so Okay, so she retweeted um, a tweet from the editor, one of the editors at The Hollywood Reporter, and Aaron Couch. He tweeted, HBO Max has removed August's trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League over music rights issues. 
but it will likely go back up on YouTube once the issue is resolved. And she kind of mentioned like in her retweet of it, I'm not sure what the likely is about. <laughs> Cause some people were speculating that they might've been like touching up um, visual effects and things like that since they're, con since, of course they continue to work on those things like pretty much right up until it's released. Um, so she said, unusual, yes, but let's just keep moving. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's anything to be worried about. Maybe, like they said, something to do with music rights issues. I don't care what the problem is. Just as long as we're still getting it next year, like we're supposed to, that's the main, that's the bottom line. They know they don't need to, do, I think they know that like, we don't care. We don't need any marketing, okay? You're the Snyder Cut fan base. We just need the Snyder Cut. We don't need all this promotional stuff. Is it exciting? Yes. But we just need our four plus episodes. And please, yes, continue it beyond that. But we are, we're ready, okay? We don't need to be sold, okay? We sold it, <laughs> okay? We were the marketers for this, along with Zack Snyder. So... You don't need to sell us, okay? We, we're we we're right here. We're waiting. We're ready. Um, whew, okay, I'm glad I saw that because my video, like I said, literally uploading. And it's like happening in real time while I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> Good though. Relief. Okay. Um, what I also wanted to talk about in my other video too was that um, more stuff to do with, well, probably HBO Max because Jason Kilar, Kylar, I never had to say his name, poor guy, sorry. Um... This morning he had mentioned, or mentioned, he had tweeted out an image um, of Gotham. Well, what's supposed to be Gotham? It's not a real place, I know that. But he said that the DC, ba uh, DC Batman fans on Twitter, myself included, are likely to enjoy this backdrop, hashtag Gotham. Now the thing that, okay, two interesting things to point out here. First of all, in the, middle, in the middle of it, it says Warner Media. We have the Warner Media logo. Not logo, but text there. And the bat signal is what people are drawing attention to because it is the bat signal used for Ben Affleck's Batman. Not Robert Pattinson's, not Christian Bale or any other Batman that we've had in the past, but that is Ben Affleck's Batman signal, symbol. And signal. <laughs> it's the Batman signal. But it's his symbol, the one that's used for Ben Affleck's Batman. So interesting, very interesting that he would tweet this. It's not just some random DC fan on Twitter. It's not just a fan made poster or, you know, graphic or whatever. Um, so is this, is this um, kind of confirming some of the little like rumors that have been coming out recently about Ben Affleck signing a new deal, a new contract. Are we going to get the Batman Deathstroke series, movie, whatever they're supposed to be? Interesting that he decided to share that with Ben Affleck's Batman symbol. So maybe we'll be getting that announcement. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get an announcement soon, but maybe it's actually, maybe it is happening, hopefully. So that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm glad that I was able to see that before I uploaded my video regarding the whole Snyder Cut trailer panic. Um, again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter. I always tweet out um, when I have a new video and I'm always keeping up with all this DC stuff on there as well. Uh, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.